Oh, uh, never mind the timer. Let's just go. Come on, really? Hey everybody, welcome in. Sorry about the, I don't know what's going on. The game is crashing me twice now. Um, and I don't know why. Hopefully it actually makes it through its countdown this time and doesn't crash. Psh, whatever. Well, welcome in everybody. I saw a whole ton of people jumping in. Uh, Charles, Jewel, welcome in. David, Bruce, thank you for being here, folks. Uh, Eric, welcome in. Thanks for being here, buddy. Uh, model house men, welcome in. David, thanks for being here, buddy. You're the only mod in the chat right now, but thanks for being here. Hope you can keep all those rascals quiet. <laughs> hey, Ken, welcome in. Thanks for being here. Five gen, thanks for being here. Welcome in. All right, hopefully the game won't crash again and crash. Oh, look at that. It didn't crash. But I need the Kubota passenger extension. <laughs> Whatever. Stupid thing. And welcome in. My name is Josh. This is the Gaming Joy channel, and we are uh, at the end of our author intended challenge. So for those who don't know, and this is something, and I know there's a few people actually playing it now. Um, Bruce, I'm looking at you. Um, this has been the author intended challenge. And the author intended challenge at a high level is basically play the map the way the author intends you to play it. Do the things that they do. If you get a farm with animals on it, you got to fill up those animal pens. You got to play with the equipment they give you for the first year. All of that thing. Play with the game the way the author intended you to do it. And in Cavalier Roy's wonderful... Um, wonderful foresight he made this challenge really, really hard to do. Oh my goodness. It looks crappy. Ugh. 
Uh... Bruce, I don't think the setting has changed. Fix it. I think I should have restarted. This looks like crap. I'm getting like 12 FPS. What is happening? Uh... Hopefully it'll get better. It probably won't. Uh... Oh well. Anyways, so for this challenge, Cavalier Roy had thought it in his best interest to make all of the productions really, really full. And all of the... Let's turn that music down. And all the productions have like 900,000 liters of a capacity. And which means that I had to make a million different recipes. If we look at our production menus, it's been insane. If we look at our productions, we have all of these productions and every production on the map we had to do and we had to fill it up and we had to make all of the stuff. Um, and we still have, as you can see, tons of stuff just running, just running and running and running. Um, yeah, Jewel, I, I don't know. I, I don't have very much stuff on. I can turn a few things off, but nothing's actually working. The problem was I was editing a map earlier and I think that map is still... Let's close, close down the browser, at least. I don't think it's gonna help. Yeah, the only problem is, is, is the only thing I could do now is restart my computer and I'd have to restart the stream. I don't know if it's going to let me go back into the same stream. Uh, we can try it. Yeah, it's still down at 14. Luckily, we're not doing much farming today, so I'm just going to play with it and see how it goes, and we'll just deal with it. Uh, we're just talking through the final end of everything. Hey, Jack Sarge, welcome in. You had to get reload. Uh, Ken had to get uh, to reload the game to get offload working. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry about that, Ken. So, if we look at our checklist, let's bring up the checklist. We're seventy five out of or seventy six out of seventy six. We got everything done. We got all of the products made. We got all of our last recipes and the last few recipes, which were the mineral feed, which is this one right here, and the diesel. They're done. They're done. They're done. They're done. Um, and it's been amazing. So what we're going to do now is sell everything off and then kind of look at our statistics and see how we did. Oh, Google updater doing something. I don't see anything running. I think I just needed to restart and I made the mistake of starting the stream without restarting and that's that's my own dang fault. But first of all, let's set everything to selling. <laughs> Just because. So we're going to start from the top. And everything, we're going to set it all to selling and see what happens. We have selling. Selling. Get down to the oil mill. We the, most of the oil is just distributing to other oil things to other productions, but we're gonna go ahead and just do that. Selling, selling, selling. We have a significant amount of furniture that is in piled up outside the the carpentry, which we're gonna have to go pick up. So we're gonna do that in a minute. Um, once we get everything selling, we can go pick up the stuff that is spawned and sell that. Like look at this clothing. 657,000 liters <laughs> of clothing. Oh, let's get rid of the goals. The goals are still up there. The checklist is still there. Uh, selling. Uh, cereal. Sell. All of this stuff. It's still doing stuff, but whatever. We're just going to sell it all. Doesn't matter. We have a lot of stuff in storage that needs to get sold. And I'm going to come up with a fun way of doing that. S 
so great processing doesn't have anything in it sugar there's a ridiculous amount of sugar in here and it's it's look at this we, we'd have to go through all this sugar we have to go through like four or five months before we can actually get to see what that profit would be but we don't care that much nothing in the greenhouses nothing in the greenhouses the farm production is going to be the big one so 677,000 liters of fertilizer <laughs> that's gonna be a lot uh, no herbicide left over because we've been using it. Seeds. Ugh. This, thank you very much, Ken. This checklist took a long time. I'm going to sell the water. I don't really think I should, but I'm going to sell it. And that should be, oh, we still have the dairy to go. Goodness gracious. <laughs> almost done, almost done. And there we go. So we've set everything to selling. That's great. We're gonna go over to our delivery van and pick up the few things that are left over. Oh, this one is still selling slurry, last I checked. Yeah, fert and seed is big money for sure. So this is our delivery truck. We're going to use this to sell. But in the begin, in the meantime, before that happens, we need to sell everything in this production facility. So we have over here. No, don't put that in the facility. That's silly. All right, so we have this here. So what we're going to do... And I think this will work. I haven't tried it yet, but I think it's going to work. We come here to construction. Selling points. Put down this mobile selling point right about here. I think if I come in here, actually, let's turn on our triggers. We don't have triggers turned on, which is kind of silly. Where is it? There it is. Interactive zone markers. All right, so we come in here. We're going to spawn our 33 pallets of pizza. And as it spawns out, it should get absorbed by those selling things. Oh, I put them in the wrong place. So this should just sell it. And if not, we're going to have issues. Because it might, it might sell the base game stuff, but not all the stuff. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's definitely not selling this stuff. <laughs> no. Um. Okay, let's go to something else. And this 15 frames a second is driving me crazy. It really is. <laughs> all right. I can't hear myself think with this truck. Goodness. Who leaves their truck on like that? Construction. Selling points. I do not have a sell everything on here. <laughs> okay. Why are these not selling? <laughs> Where do I sell pizza? Let's look at our chart. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think this was going to happen. I should have tested it. Let's look at our chart here. Um, pizza, dough. It all gets sold on the other side of the map. I'm not driving back and forth to the other side of the map a million times. Hey, Tony. Welcome in. We are looking to sell some stuff and... Um, I don't want to drive it all the way across the map. 
And we're also at F15 frames per second, which is killing me. All right, here's the thing. Um, I'm going to restart my computer. <laughs> and if I do, if I restart my computer without actually ending the stream, I should be able to reconnect to it, right? Right, does anyone know? If not, I'll throw out another stream. So check the channel for real quick. Um, I can't function like this. This is too slow. I'm going to just restart and hopefully everything will come back. Uh, if not, thank you all for being here. <laughs> I can't handle this. This is too much. All right. Um, and I'll be back in two minutes. All right, I'm back, folks. I hope it's reading everything. Um, the game is starting up, but I actually have to exit out because it's... I forgot to add uh, the one mod I wanted to add. So give me just a second. Coming in in just a minute. What the heck? Okay, seriously? <laughs> that was like not what I wanted to be hearing right now. <laughs> okay, sell, 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 sell. Where is it? There it is. Thank you so much for waiting for me to restart. Hopefully that will fix the things. I also deleted the shader cache. Thank you for the suggestion, Frank. Um, I'm hoping I get back to some normal FPS. I did re recover all of my performance settings um, to what they were before I started messing with them. Um, so hopefully that should all get back to normal also. Um, but we'll see. I'm hoping it will. Um, and I'm on a fresh reboot cabled in. We'll see what happens. 
please? Please. There we go. The animation's working now. The animation wasn't working before. And there we go, we're back. Okay. Yes, we still need the Kubota pack as a protection, but it's not gonna happen. Okay, it's... This looks marginally better. Yeah, okay, we're in the green. Okay, that's fine. It's gonna be a little slow for a minute while the shader rebuilds, the shader cache rebuilds. But we're already performing better than we were. There we go. There we go. Much better. Not perfect, but better. All right. So we're going to park this guy over here and we're going to go back to where we were and start thinking about selling some stuff. We're going to come in here, actually, also, and get the manure and sell the manure. And then we might even sleep a little bit just to let everything sell through. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go through all the menus and change it to selling again. Because I didn't save before I, I just restarted the computer. <laughs> I just restarted the computer. Um, so that was my own fault. But let's do that real quick. So... Hang in there with me. You guys all here? Um, let me know in the chat if you're still here. Um, I hope this chat is still live. It says that it is. So I hope you guys are here. Let me know if you're here. Yeah, it's 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 all running much better now. Just needed a restart. That'll teach me, right? <laughs> always restart right before streaming. It's what your mother always tells you, right? <laughs> or something. Nothing there, nothing there. This is where the, all the most of the money is going to be because we have all of this stuff sitting in storage. Liquid Furt, sell. Seeds, a lot of seeds, sell. Actually, I'm not going to set the water to uh, selling because it's infinite water. Um, so it's just gonna, it would just make us millions and it's kind of not fair. Thank you for you. Awesome. Thanks for being here guys. <laughs> no, you left. <laughs> I saw that. All right. Everything's back to selling. All right, cool. Um, and we're full of manure. So we're going to teleport. I'm not going to even bother driving. I'm just going to teleport. I'm a pro at teleporting. You're doing that. I want to go to this guy. Where is he? No, not that guy. I was already there. Sell. It's like a fire sale, kind of. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to come over here. We're going to go around the trigger so we don't put stuff back into the bakery, which is just silly. All right. Oh, I lost out of one. Okay, so what we're going to do here is see the spawn zone. <laughs> We're going to come in here, and I think this will work. I've never tried it, but I think it's going to work. Here's how to sell everything off for one of these, these container things. Let's just put this 
right in the middle, overlap it, and then if I go like this and I spawn pizza, it's just going to spawn in the sell everything trigger and get stuck there. It's not super awesome. Why are you not selling? Did I find the one product? Pizza is the one product that the sell everything container doesn't work. This is uh, getting to be problematic. Now look at that, I found a product that sell everything doesn't actually sell. Schultz, I found a product. <laughs> it's actually, that is really a map in the bug, a, a bug in the map, not a sell everything bug. Let's try it with something else. This not, this should get sold. So let's try it with honey. Is it gonna work? No, it's not going to work. All right. Well, my idea is obviously crap. <laughs> I just wanted to sell some stuff, right? Does this one work? Pizza has its own sell point. Yeah, I know, but it's on the other side of the map and I don't want to drive there. Because I have, then I would have to make like a 500 trips and that would just be annoying. Well, I guess I'll have to, you know, I think the triggers are overlapping and so it's not working. I, know, I have an idea. I have an idea. I think it's because what the two triggers are overlapping. So let's make them not overlap. It warned me, didn't it? <laughs> it was like, hey, edit, you have triggers overlapping yes sell everything now it's not overlapping now let's try that uh, cereal sure cereal is going to spawn and it's selling how oh it's selling because of this one that was the idea so put this one right here I don't really care how it sells as long as it sells. <laughs> Let's put this one right here. There you go. We'll do that. And if this stuff doesn't sell it, then maybe the other one will. We'll try that. Let's get rid of the honey. So that should do it. No. Does honey sell over here? Why does hu Seriously, people? Why do I keep finding products magically that don't sell? Like, that's super annoying. <laughs> I know where to sell honey. I just happen to pick the ones out of this little building that don't sell. 
So apparently honey doesn't sell to sell everything. Or they're too close. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what gummed up the works. The Cray one works usually. I mean, this is uh, the, so the Cray one is the Yosis mobile cell point, right? That one works. Um, let's try, well, we already got the cereal to sell. So let's sell the rest of the cereal. So see, cereal spawns, it sells. That's what I expected to happen. This is what I wanted to happen. See, I, this is how you sell stuff off. Um, but these are all custom products, so... Like, here's the bread. Bread works fine. Right? Um, but I can't do, like, the custom stuff. Maybe? Maybe I just can't do the custom stuff? I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, the goal here is, I mean, we're done. We don't really have to sell everything off, but I kind of want to see how much money I can make. Right? Dough. Dough doesn't work. Does dough sell here? No. Okay. What is going on with this? So. is overlapping with too much stuff. So let's put it here. Let's do that. Yeah, I mean, I put all this money and time and effort into making all of these products. I want to see how much money I can make from them, right? Like, it's got to be a ridiculous amount of money. So I want to see. All right, so this is what? Pizza? No, this is dough. Look, dough doesn't sell there either. What about donuts? Donuts don't sell. I bet all of this custom stuff that Cavalier Roy added doesn't sell here. That's what I'm going to bet. And I could fix that by exiting in and out of the game real quick. Well, that's, that's a phone call away. Good call, Eric. Let's go in and fix it, because that's what I do. Okay. Yeah, none of the new stuff is in there. So I, I can't show you my... Sh I don't think I can share this screen. Do I have a, a frame here for... Oh, I do. All right, you guys can see my screen here. Resize it. 
so you can see this is the the thing see how it says product product here all of the custom production stuff is not in here Why is this like super slow? What were the new products, honey? I always tell everyone to use VS Code. Honey, pizza, waffles, dough, what else? Can you guys think of anything else? Yeah, dough. Cookies, brioche. All right, we're going to fix it real quick. It'll be fun. But I have to exit the game first. Because running both at the same time is killing me. Uh, save. To here and these are gonna be all of his new fill types brioche cookies dough yeast pasteurized milk is already there for some reason uh do i include pizza pizza waffles dough pizza sandwich there we go. Soybean oil, sure. Pancake. These are all cavalier boys. Did I do donut? No, I did dough, not donut. Soy milk. By the way, in case everyone ever builds a map, just so you know, you don't actually have to include all of the base game fill types in this file. So this is your map fill types file. You don't actually need all, like, this doesn't need to be here unless you're changing it. If you're not changing it, it doesn't need to be here. The game's going to load automatically. Yep, it's okay. I'm, I'm just doing this so I can finish selling everything off, Cav. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. It's They're all in order and they're all easy to find. So that was simple, right? Save and start back up the game. <laughs> Whoop. Come on. I wonder, Kev, and thank you for, for mentioning that. That's really great. Um, I wonder if that's something that is is not as much of a standard, right? One of the reasons that everyone really likes the, um, the sell everything mod is that it works for everything, right? It's just, it just works. And that's why people like it. Um, and I'm wondering, and the reason it works is because it uses categories. So it, it sells by category. So that's the reason it works because as long as the map author, whoever that is, whether it's you or other people, add things to those categories, then it works. Um, but in this case, obviously you didn't add to the categories, so it's not selling those things. So, but I'm wondering how often that happens. Uh, and, and if you had no reason to do it, cool. You don't have any reason to do it. Um, but I wonder how often that happens. I'm, I, and I wonder if that's something that like uh, giants could test for, right? 
hey, is this this is everything sellable? I wonder. I don't know. All right, we're back at the sell everything. Oh, we don't want the VS code anymore. Sorry. We can get rid of that. Oh, great. The game crashed again. Freaking hey. Oh, I'm having a wonderful night. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, folks. The game actually crashed again. Again. It's an OBS thing, actually. It's not the game crashing. It's OBS. There you go. Boom. It's gone. Um, something to do with how OBS switches its scenes. It takes up too much memory or something and it causes the game to crash. Yeah, that's right. A lot of people use placeable mods. You actually did all of this stuff yourself, which is like commendable in some ways. Like it's your map has all of these extra fill types and all of these extra palettes and, and they're all really awesome looking palettes, by the way. I didn't never said that to you, by the way, but all of the extra palettes you built in are freaking awesome. Like they really are. They all look great. Start. Don't crash. Show the game. Thank you. All right. And the goal here, honestly, is just because I'm trying to sell like millions of liters of stuff or hundreds of thousands of liters of stuff. And I don't feel like driving across the map 15,000 times because it's not really fun on a live stream, right? <laughs> but yeah, like all, I, honestly, I want to reuse some of your palettes like this, the palette designs. Uh, one of the things I like about your palettes is a lot of the sizes for the boxes and stuff is different. They're not just all the same palette. They're all like little little things, little differences. Some of them have different labels, some different sizes, um, and it makes it very unique. I think a lot of other map makers could benefit from making their own palettes and doing it the right way. And look, see, these sell points also sell by category. So as soon as I jumped in, the honey started selling too. So if I, if I take this and move this, actually, no, I want this right here. And so our fix, our little fix actually worked. So I'm going to come in here and if I spawn waffles, they should all sell. See? Perfect. Why is Richard not banned here? Um, you can keep that between yourself and Richard. Tony. Like, I don't have a need to ban Richard. If you want to, that's cool. Oh, I think I broke it. I totally broke it. <laughs> I tried to spawn more pallets before the other ones had previous finished selling. And now it won't let me use the trigger. <laughs> and where's our other test? Our other test was right here. This is the... Yeah, see? Now it's working. Look at this. I can't. I, I'm hitting R. I'm hitting it. Why is Tony the way he is? Uh, he's Tony. Why are you the way you are? You're you're Richard. I mean, um, what do I do now? Uh, um, reload. Here we go. Note to self, don't spawn more stuff before everything else is finished selling. With tiny mowers. Yeah, well, that's his prerogative. Oh, I love I love watching it all sell like that. Isn't that cool? It's like a waterfall. It just looks so cool selling like that. I love it. And it took editing one line of code. And that means we should be able to do this all the way across the map. Whether it works for all the soy products, I might, I don't know.
So these are all of the products we made. We made tons and tons of products. We have honey and pizza and all kinds of stuff just sitting here ready to sell. And we just got to sell it all. And I thought I was I thought it would be. Look at that. It ticked over to three o'clock. So all of the fertilizer and everything is sold. Did you see that? We're almost at 50 million. I thought it was going to be hard to get to 50 million, but we might actually get there. I'm like, what, six, 800K away from 50 million? Oh, I think we can get it. Because I have chocolate and clothing to sell still. I think I think it'll make it. Did I make these crates? No. Uh, so Cavalier Roy, made, oh those these crates are from Jose's, um, or Yos, I think it's Yos, um, Yos's um, mobile cell point utilities mod, which I use for a lot of different stuff. Um, they're designed to sell products, so anything in the product category, um, will sell with these with these things, and also, I think product and bulk. It also sells so like if you put one of these behind a trailer and empty out straw it'll just sell the straw right away and they're just like all of the other yoast utilities where they they're a production so they respawn back to the first place you put them um for uses like this it's really awesome sometimes i like to put one of these like the side of a field when there's tons and tons of straw on the field if i just want to sell the straw because then i just pull up to one of these boxes sell the straw and then move on, right? <laughs> I think I'm, and I'm playing, what am I playing on? I haven't even remember. I think I'm playing on normal. Yeah, I'm on normal economic difficulty. And we're, we're done. Yay. So, um, construction and get rid of this get rid of this get rid of this and we're gonna take our little or what is this called this is a tatra we're gonna take our tatra and go to the other places on our map to get the last few things we need to sell and we'll use this as our vehicle See all this honey like here I could actually sell the honey or I could just put down that little thing so go to production selling points it's right here next to the table saw thing I do this and a lot of times it doesn't work right when you first place it down if stuff was already there but if you move it slightly it kind of catches things Oh, nice. And I'll honestly, Cavalier, I agree with you. I think a lot of maps are just too easy these days. I'm going to leave this here for when the honey spawns and go to the next place. And we were playing that, um, that Calm Lands challenge. So one of the other challenges I'm working on right now is the Calm Lands challenge. And the goal of that challenge was originally, I feel like I'm talking over the music. One of the goals of that challenge originally was to you're supposed to start on easy mode, right? And or easy economy. And I'm like, and I tried, I really did. I played for like the first two months on easy economy and I made so much money. I didn't know what to do with myself. I'm like, this is not fun. It's too easy, right? And so I <laughs> I switched to normal just because it was getting to be like kind of ridiculous. Uh, where does it spawn? It spawns right here. Here. Ha! 
Has that's what the pasteurized milk looks like? Cool. And then what's in here? In our storage here, we have yogurt, 84 pallets of yogurt. Fifty two pallets of chocolate. CFL, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining our last our last episode of Glenn Lethan. Lethan. Um as we finally sell off everything. We're selling off all the stuff that we made for all of the production recipes. We got our checklist. This is the checklist. Uh, thank you, Roy, for this wonderful checklist. <laughs> uh, we made all those things. For some of them, we made 30,000 liters. For some other ones, we made 300,000 liters. Um, it's like all the BGA stuff. We did 300,000 liters. Um, and we made every single recipe, every custom thing, everywhere on this map. And for some reason, I have honey in here. So this storage shed can go. Yep. Sell. Yep. Sell. Yep. We are at 49,651. Can we make 50? Can we make 50? <laughs> Thank you very much, Roy. Uh, that I greatly appreciate that. I've had a great time on this map. Um, I will say, I don't think I'll ever play on a map ever again that has collision-based... <laughs> um... It has hedges with collisions. Uh, I realize that I don't like hedges at all. So hedges with collisions. I don't think I'll ever play on a map like that before again. And if I ever play on another map that has hedges with collisions, they better be these kind of hedges where you can delete them or I probably won't play that map. And that's, you know, that just means like a few less maps to play. <laughs> CFL, what's looking? He, he, he seems to have a uh, an issue. You got a problem when I unfold your headers in your combine. The header won't turn on. What mod is it? I don't know. I'm not sure what that error would be. Thanks, Keith. Um, but that's nothing to do with what we're doing here. So, thank you for um, handling that. Big flats, Texas. Yet, no. No, there's a. There's like two words in that one that I just don't play well with, which is the big or the flat in the Texas. <laughs> it could be manual attach. It could be. Because if you connect it, you should be able to connect it without manual attach. But then you're going to have to connect the hoses and the PTO. Could be. It's a good call. Or too big of a header for the power, but I don't think that's an issue. I've seen that before. All right, and so we have some... I don't know what these are. What are these? So let's do this. Let's put this here. on our little selling thingy sell off this stuff the money coming in slowly is just the honey as it spawns it sells oh we're getting close why is furniture spawning
All right, we're gonna hit 50. We're gonna hit five, 50 million. Ooh, I thought I set that to selling. Did I miss one? Which one is this? <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Carpentry. Selling, selling. It's all set to selling, selling. I must have missed the carpentry. And there we go, 50 million, we did it, folks. And of course, this is still producing an, a, a ridiculous, like, look at this. Because we filled it up with wood and planks, it's still making furniture, like, f forever. Um, so it'll just continue making stuff, and it'll take forever, so... We can delete this thing, though. Construction. Delete that. Um, so let's look at the time-saving sock chest to tell us where our pallets are. Look at all the stuff that we still have all around the map. We have 100... Where is this? Oh. Some of this stuff isn't going to sell because there isn't enough to spawn a pallet. <laughs> Uh, anything worthwhile? Not really. Water. Straw. Corn. Oh, where, where's all that corn? Oh, the pharma ob Oh, by the way. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Apparently, I have a little bit of corn sitting around that could be sold. That's cool. Come on, shift. Shift, truck. <laughs> it's like when this truck gets going, it's great. But when it's not going, it's terrible. See, there we go. CFL, you got it. You got your uh, solution. I'm happy that you got it. Manual attach can be a pain in the butt, especially when you go back to a save that has manual attach and you're not used to it. Um, it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. It's nice to watch the money continually going up instead of going down. <laughs> right? In the whole time we played this series, it's always been going down. All right, um, we're not, I don't think we're going to bother selling equipment, even though we have tons of it. What we can do though, I think, can we sell milk? Oh yeah, we can sell milk. How much milk do we have? We should have a bit of milk. <clears throat> oh, we finally, we finally get rid of our horses. <sighs> I've been waiting for this day. My sister won't like it, but I'm getting rid of the horses. Goodbye, horses. Oh, look. We had a couple of births. Even though... The, how? If we had births, where'd the other ones go? <laughs> like, we already had 16 out of 16. How do we have births? Oh, no, that's, sorry. Those are the dealer. So they're all worth... Back. So they're all worth 4,000... 791 <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, so. 
There we go. Goodbye, horses. We didn't make very much money off of you, but we sold you. Sorry. You're gone. And, you know, I could always sell the forage out of here. 900,000 layers of forage still sitting around. Not really enough milk to speak of, but we'll go sell it. Come on, come on. You know, interestingly enough, Milk was one of the biggest money makers on this series. Because once you got like over a thousand cows in that 2000 cow pasture, like there's just so much going on, so much milk. I always hit that button. Go away. Um, there's so much milk getting generated every day that you're making, you know, three, 400 K a month just on the milk. As long as you're keeping your cows quote unquote production ready. Let's do something fun. And here's how to sell directly from your silo. <laughs> like check like this. But this is how I sell directly from my silo, right? We're going to come in here. We're going to drive around our farm. I'm going to park this guy underneath the farm the silo. And we're going to place this <laughs> selling point right about there. I'm going to come here and get the core sort. Oh, we can get the sorghum. <laughs> there you go. How to sell straight out of your pharma. Let's see how much 150 thousand liters of corn gives us and then the big question is so now that we finished off our 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 thing let's go to our stats for a second while that's selling so towards the end we got into october we were coming into october with 14 million in the bank and we got to between 14 million and 50 million just by selling everything in the month of october we just made all of that profit by selling products, selling things like up to 50 million. Isn't that crazy? Um, but then if we look at it back at our st st statistics, this is what we did for our overall challenge. So we four years, we are at the beginning of our fourth year. Um, we have, we did a total of 323 contracts <laughs> 323 now that's a significant number of contracts we did a lot of contracts and i did most of those off stream just because when you've seen contracts once you've seen them again but i was repeating the same contracts over and over and over especially the grass contracts to be able to get enough food to feed 2000 sheep and 2000 cows i had to do every grass contract every year that came up every single one and then take all of the extra bales that I got from those grass contracts, put them back into my barns to feed my animals. Like we just 2000 cows is ridiculous. I don't know if I'll ever play with that many cows again. It was just really, really hard to keep that facility full. It was just 
constant. And I know that Cavalier did his really great work and updated that facility so the robot made more food. But it was just it was running through it like 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 no tomorrow. I was buying every month I was buying roughly between 60 and 100,000 liters of mineral feed to go into the the automated silo and I would not have been able to do that without my own mod. Like I had to make a mod just to be able to do that. And so we have actually a scroll past it. The, the better bulk box mod. This is something I created specifically just for this right here for mineral feed and the ability to be able to buy 10 crates of mineral feed, a hundred thousand liters all at once. So each crate is 10,000 liters and it's still, it's, I mean, it's the same discount as my fill station, but nonetheless, you're buying, be able to buy this much at a time. This is great for seeds, but especially for mineral feed, trying to keep this farm full, that barn full, it was a task. And if we go back to our stats, what else? Um, we harvested a bunch of land. We used 34,000 liters of fuel, which is a lot. We used one point just over 1 million liters of uh, fertilizer, which is pretty insane. Um, we cut down 1,073 trees, not that bad. Here's the big one. This is from the contracts. We produced over 3,000, 3,100 bales in the time of taking doing this challenge. 3,100 bales. Yeah, that's a few bales. And the pharma is done. Okay, I'm stuck. Whatever. You can sell some straw that I have in storage, I guess. Like that, right there. Oh, it's not this one, it's the other one. No, I don't think I'll sell off the equipment. Uh, I think that, I mean, I could. But we've already made our goal. I wanted to see if we could make 50 million. We made 50 million. We're good. Uh, I think I have a few grass bales or hay bales over here at the supermarket. Oh, I dropped my bale. No, I still have it. Yeah. Had a few hay bales over here. <clears throat> and there we go. And that's going to be it. We had a lot of fun stuff here. We had a lot of cool things we made. Um, one thing I, I haven't found the right use for, but I think I'm going to actually release this as a production, is this right here. Now, this is the one that I converted from someone else. Um, but being that there's so many productions that we're using on this map and on other maps that require water to be delivered, um, I would like to be able to pipe in water for everything and not have water as a product you have to deliver anymore. Um, and so w there was that one that was released recently, which works great for animal buildings and greenhouses, but it doesn't work very good for uh, production buildings like this one. Um, so what this is, is this is a water distributor. And I'll show it to you. It's right here. So it basically has a capacity of 500,000 liters, which, which whatever, doesn't matter. But it basically creates water from nothing. <laughs> 7,200 cycles per month. So it's basically creating 72, 
times this, so 144, I don't know, 1.4 million liters of water per month. And basically it's just constantly filling with water from the city and distributing to all your buildings that need it. So something like this is really great on a map that you have where you have lots of productions that need water. And so I'm going to release that production building, but with a different model. That's the base game model, and I want to actually make make money. Um, so I'll probably release with something else. But that's it for this thing. Now, the queer is the question. You guys, the next stage or the next thing for this live stream, it's like a spring point. Exactly. Um, the next stream is going to be on another map. So you guys want to go over to the next map and see what's going to be the next map? I'll show you the next map. It's pretty cool. We'll do a flyby. Hunt that sound. You guys want to see the next map? Or we can end the stream early because there's nothing else to do. So I'm not going to do anything else. There's some stuff here like fertilizer here and we could sell that stuff off if we really wanted to. We could sell all the equipment if you wanted to. Actually, we should sleep. So I'm not going to keep take care of the animals. I'm just going to sleep. But I'm going to go to the next month and see how much money we make from all the stuff that's selling, that's still producing. And then sleep again. Are we there yet? All right, we sl we're sleeping till November to see if we get any substantial profit. We could probably sleep for a whole nother year um, and sleep through all the months to get to a whole nother year from now. And it looks like we're gonna be making about a million dollars per year. Um, with animals being sold, products being sold, yada yada, it'll just keep selling and selling and selling. So it's fun. Let's go ahead and save, save. And let me exit out. Let me exit out. And oh my gosh, content creator handoff. Whose idea was that? Wow, I haven't seen that picture in a long time, huh? Sorry, give me a I'll give you a better thumbnail. Here's today's thumbnail. Yay, we finished. All right, let me change the settings and launch the game and hopefully it won't crash this time. And we'll go check out the next map. All right, I'm going back in the game so you can see it. What? So we're going into a new map and I'm showing you, I'm doing this from scratch. So this is a brand new gameplay on this map. This is the farm we're gonna be playing on. We're gonna playing on a map called Sino Farm, which is a South American map. Now, if I've wanted to do a South American map for one of these challenges for a while, um, I feel like some of the South American maps and the South American, all of the extra, you can see all the extra awesome mods I have on here. I don't think they get enough love. Some of them are great. Some of them are sometimes not so great, but there are a few here and there that are kind of gems. And I think this one's kind of one of them. So 
we've talked about this before. One of my like requirements. Why is this thing in here? I don't care. Um, one of my requirements. So this is map is a released map, quote unquote. That it was. It's on. It's on King Mods. Um, it's not on Giants Mod Hub. Most of the the South American Brazilian maps don't make it to King to to Giants Mod Hub. And part of the reason is, is I think that just like me, people are a little frustrated with the the process to submit a map on the Mod Hub. So this one is not a Mod Hub map. This is a non Mod Hub map. Um, that said, this is one of the more complete South American maps that I was able to find. So I went through basically all of them. Um, I played a bunch of them. I, a lot of them, I, I have like three or four gameplays right now going where I'm just testing stuff out. Now this one specifically, the reason it's never gonna make it to Mod Hub, but I can show you the reason because it's pretty easy. If you come in here, you look at the garage and the posters and the branding and you come in here in the dealership and like some of these things are like like these are other maps this person has done um and then the it, it you don't see it now but if we come in here to the npcs so if we go to the npcs the npcs used to be pictures of his friends <laughs> Like the map maker's friends. I put in, and you guys saw this if you were looking at my channel, I put in my own NPCs. These are all the pictures we decided on. These are the NPCs, yay. Um, which it makes this a little bit more unique. So I've fixed a few things. Um, the other fun things that I've fixed is if we look, this map has a couple extra crops, which is great. These are all, they were, came from the map, but it has carrots. Now these carrots conflict with the carrots that are added by the premium expansion. So we're not playing with the premium expansion on this map. That's fine. It does have some few other f map uh, things on here. I've, some of them I've never even harvested before. Um, onions and garlic, I've never harvested onions and garlic. I don't even know what they look like. Um, and it also has a rice field, which is one of those kind of flooded, floodable fields. But as you can see, there's not a square field on the entire map. Some of the fields, like field number one, are massive, like unbelievably massive. So if we take to the skies and just kind of look around the map, and I'm gonna put the map thing, you can see where we are on the map in the lower left-hand corner. This is one field. So it's not two fields, one on this side, one on this side. It's actually four separate fields that are all part of the same field. They're all connected. The first time I played this map, <laughs> this was carrots. <laughs> Can you imagine harvesting carrots on all of this? And there's even over here in the... in the. It's going too slow. Hold on. Um... Even over here in the background, that little over here in the end, that field right there is connected to this field. It's part of the same farmland. So when you're harvesting, you have to harvest all of that, um, which I think is actually kind of interesting. There's a lot of fields on this map where where you have multiple fields that are separated by roads or ponds or what have you that like this one right here, these are separated by a row, but they're all one field. So the contract on this field, or if you own it, you're doing all of that. So on the, this side of the highway is field five. On this side of the highway is not field five, it's field two. So field two is one, two, it's all field two. And then like up here, field four is this, and this piece over here it's kind of weird it's like separated pieces but it works on this map it really does uh like these two fields right here are both field five which is crazy um and i just i love the terrain and the layout i love how these the fields are kind of really weird and odd shaped there is a few places where the way because you see you can actually see how they built their farmlands 
You see those jagged edges? They're actually like this. So if we're facing north, it's like this. Do you see how there's like lines? And basically they built their farmlands with like a two meter strip. And they just added another strip, and added another strip, and added another strip. And that's how they built their farmlands. So all of the farms and fields have these kind of jagged edges. I think it could have been done better, but I don't have the time to fix it. Um, it's got some custom cell points. Custom buildings, lots of vehicles kind of sitting around. Like, this is a cell point, right? It could be a grain mill or something, but I think it's a cell point. You've got some rolling hills. Right? You've got some really cool roads. Um, I did fix a few things with the um, farmlands. Originally, these farmlands kind of went underneath the trees on the border. Um, and so I fixed it. But like, like this right here, like, look at that. It looks so cool. The running water and this little pond thing. And then right next to a field, this whole road along the field is all like at an angle. Like this, all the fields, there's a single flat field in this whole map. I think the only flat field on the map is the rice field, which is over here. I'll show you that real quick. The rainbow's are always there. It's in the background. <laughs> So even at night, there's still a rainbow in the background, which is kind of funny. No, Jack Sarge, this is not Eldorado. This, <laughs> Eldorado, this is um, Sino, Facenda, Fazenda, F-A-Z-E-N-D-A, -E Sino. This is the rice field and it has the mechanics to be able to flood the field. So you can click on this, it'll flood the field, which is part of rice, I guess, which is cool. Um, we have an animal dealer here with these fields right here, these grass fields. And there's live animals in these fields, which is cool. Right now, I think there's only pigs, um, but there should be other animals. And here there's animals up in here too. See the cows in there? This is like a cell point area with live chickens that are just kind of sitting there in the middle. Um, and then there's some weird stuff like this pool, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> like there's like half naked people around the map <laughs> everywhere once in a while. There's another place for those where there's some random people who are just in bikinis right here where they have this like pool party people in <laughs> like <laughs> drunk guy walking around <laughs> yeah it's pretty funny but this, I don't care about that stuff um, and because it's a South America map it also has a mine now this mine This mine was here, but it was empty when I, when I came into this map. So I've actually added all of this. So all of the, if you look here, this is stone. This is, I forget, gravel, I think. This is um, something else, limestone, I think. Lime, more limestone. Um, these is all scoopable stuff once you own the land. I put all of that there. And the reason is, is I put a concrete production plant down in the bottom of this pit. And so once you buy the, want to buy the pit, it's like 600K. It's really expensive. Um, you also get this concrete production, which needs all of those things. Uh, so you can scoop and deliver and do a little bit of non-terraform non-terraform mining which i thought would be fun i've never done that so i added in all that myself um i added in all of the fill types that are just there that you can harvest i added in the concrete production building it's not my mod it's someone else's mod i got it off of mod hub i think i think it's um i want to say that's a mac trucker mod 
Um, what else? Overall, I think this map has a lot is a lot to see, right? If we get down to let's stop flying around for a minute and let's do a quick drive around. Right? A long scale conveyor system. Yeah, totally. I have a conveyor system. It's called auto drive. <laughs> All right. Let's stop flying around for a second and let's turn that off. Turn that off. Let's buy ourselves a vehicle. I'm just going to leave it like it is. The shop area is here. Got a ton of space for shop spawning. We have gates that open, but they're nice and fast, which is great. And this is how it's like to drive around. There's great trap. There's traffic on the roads. Lots of custom vehicles um, that you'll see here and there. Um. Driving around the roads, the, the, the traffic on this map is actually really nice. Um, it can be tedious at times because, look, if I stop for a second. And the, tra the traffic just appears. There's also a lot of, like, vehicles sitting around. They're not enterable or drive. Actually, that one looks like it is. Like, here's the traffic. You got cop cars. You got utes. You got pickup trucks. Like, this is a dwarf. Not a Ford, but a dwarf pickup truck. <laughs> got a, a, a very low-res John Deere. <laughs> a JCB backhoe. A man truck. This guy with a weird roof rack. Yeah, some weird vehicles on the road. It's okay. It's fine. So I'm going to head down here. Yeah, I'm going to head to... The road's blocked by a tree. But they have a place where you can drive around. That um, rice field is just off to our left. So we're going to go down to the main, the starting farm. And this is one of the reasons I picked this map. Number one, this road. This road is super, like, it's, how do I say it? It's like, it's, it's, it feels like a backwoods, third world country road. It very much twists and turns. I haven't built auto drive for this, but I will. But the road is very, like, it's sloped, it's hilly, it's almost never flat. They have this right here, which is the wood delivery point. And so they have these, like, steaming vats. Unforgiving is a good way of putting it. They have these, like, wood vats for... I don't know what this is going on here. But this is your, like, carpentry area, <laughs> essentially. Um, uh, let's go this way, I think. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to harvest that field? Look at that hill. This is insane. So, we're going down the southern part of the map now. And the southern part of the map is where the main farm is. And aside from the challenge that we're going to be doing, we'll talk about that more a little bit later. This is the main farm, and this is one of the other reasons I really like this map, is the main farm's kind of got its own thing going on. Where you have some fields, some rolling fields that are definitely not flat. You've got lime and stone in a little area right there that you can buy and just scoop all of that. Right, you've got these fields here of grassy fields that are not perfect grass. They're, but they're grass nonetheless. Um, I made two new custom grass crops for this for this playthrough. This one right here in the middle of the screen. 
This is the meadow texture. And this is the grass texture. So this is going to be your grass. And this is meadow. So the meadow has the flowers. The grass is a little bit taller and a little bit brighter green. I think the two go really well together. They're from two different maps. I just kind of added them to the map to make this, when I play this map, the playthrough go well. But this is the main farm. So you have like a little fishing dock for making sardines or something. I don't know. It's in, it's in another language. Um, you've got this main field that's part of the main farm, which is right now in sunflowers. Pretty cool. By the way, hi, hi Rambo. Thanks for jumping in. Um, and you've got... Oh, shoot. The main farmhouse and main barn is supposed to be right here. But I was trying to make sure that it's going to be here in all playthroughs, and apparently it's not. Anyways, there's a farm and a barn here that's part of the map. I'll put it back in just so you can see what it looks like. Uh, it's... Is it here? Yeah, it's, it's this barn. It's pretty much this barn. It's a variation of this barn that's, that's like right here. And then there's a farmhouse that looks like this right here. Essentially, that's how the main farm is. Um, but that's not what's cool about this, this farm. What's cool about this farm, I like, number one, the hill, like this main, like that's a pretty steep hill for whatever you're harvesting. It also has fruit trees. So these are banana trees and something else. I forget. It's another kind of fruit, which is a production that you have to feed. So you have to feed it mineral feed and uh, manure. You got this like production, and if you look at the map, look where we are on the map. This whole area is sort of cut off from the rest of the map. And the only way to get back is to take that really twisty, uh, unforgiving road all the way back past the rice field to here. So I think one of our first things to do is to buy this land right here. So this farmland right here and create a road that goes through this farmland to this intersection here to connect everything. But that's $357,000, so it's going to be a lot. Contracts on this map aren't bad. Some of them are actually very... Like the fertilizing contracts, where are they? Hold on, I'm just going to have a bunch of new contracts. If we look, so these are all the contracts. But some of them, like this is a... $26,000 fertilizing contract. That's... Yeah, this is Fazenda Sino. Yep, you got it. I fixed a bunch of stuff with it, but it is Fazenda Sino. But the contracts are not bad. Um, I've got all my custom NPCs in here, but there are some contracts that are worth good money. So, since we're going to be starting from scratch, we're going to need those contracts to get going. I just love the look of things. I love the look of all the trees. I kind of like having the rainbow in the background all the time. It's pretty fun. Um, but that's the map and that's the idea. And that's kind of where we're going with it. So I'm going to teleport over here. This road is a good representation of this map. <laughs> this is great. On every exit of where a road goes to the edge of the map, all of them have this gate and a cop car parted, parked in front of it. I <laughs> think that's awesome. Such a cool way of doing it. Like, no, you're not allowed to leave. <laughs> but this road, I'll drive this road real quick and um, let me turn the cruise control down slow, lower. This road is a good um, representation of kind of what it's like to be in drive around this map. I think that's onions right there to our left. 
but yeah that's it this is the map so i i haven't changed very much but i have fixed a bunch of stuff just to make it a little bit more playable um i fixed a bunch of places where the crops were not th anything they weren't set up right um field numbers and stuff like that have been fixed i did the whole thing with the mine area made that cool but i really like the look of this map and like I really like the rolling hills. You guys know me. I, I love those rolling hills where you actually have to worry about horsepower. And um, then talking about horsepower, what we're going to be doing as part of the live stream, and you guys are going to kind of help me figure out what the rules are, is we're going to build as we go the survival skills challenge. So that's what we're calling it. We're calling it the survival skills challenge. And I may make an accompanying mod that'll go to mod hub um, eventually for the challenge um, to kind of keep track of things, but <laughs> 750. So as part of the challenge, actually, Ken, you won't get to 750 for a long time. Seven years to be exact. The goal of this challenge and to start off the challenge you're surviving so we're starting off 100 horsepower max for the first year and no skills of any kind so and what i mean by that is no super strength no auto load no bail loading no anything nothing like to a point of like you can't even use a tree harvester even if you wanted to buy it like you're limited to horsepower and you're also limited to the kind of or rather i'm limited <laughs> because this is my challenge i'm limited from using a lot of the tr special tricks that i use all the time so let's say for forestry right there are a lot of trees on this map that can be cut down for forestry but I'm limited from actually using any kind of loading equipment initially until I cut down 100 trees and then, or 50 trees. And if I cut down 50 trees, then I can start using more tree based equipment. And there's five levels for each thing. So forestry has five levels, pallets have five levels, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and we're going to use the statistics panel, so anyone can play this on any platform, the statistics panel. So your once your total trees reaches X, then you can move on to phase to level two for forestry. And then you can start using, let's say the first level of forestry is zero. All you can use is a chainsaw. That's it. Uh, and that means you have to cut them small. And that means you have to do whatever you can do. Um, and then maybe level one is you can use a front end loader. And a, or a, and a log trailer, but you can't use any forestry specific equipment. Or maybe the first level is we can only use a winch and that's it. A chainsaw and a winch, nothing else. Second level is you can start using a front end loader and a log trailer. Third level is maybe you could use um, uh, any of the stuff in the platinum expansion, not including like the big loaders, but maybe you can use like the yarder and stuff like that. And fourth level would be using a tree harvester. And fifth level would be using, then you have unlock when you get to level five, and that's after like a thousand trees. Then you unlock the special stuff, like the, my little mobile container cell point for, for logs or the mobile cell points or using your own productions or whatever. So basically the idea is, is that as you slowly play through the game, you start off with not knowing anything like a new farmer and you can't use any of those special trick stuff to just to sneak by. And that, that we're gonna have categories for everything. I've started to write down all the rules and all the regulations and stuff, um, but I wanna build it into the game and into a mod so that it's easier to understand. And so that's gonna be my next focus is building the mod and getting the rules written down, but we're going to demo it out live in our live stream. Hey, CBW, welcome in. Thanks for being here. We're going to demo it out in the live stream and kind of make up those rules as we go along. And we're not just making them up. We're trying to make it 
So the challenge is not too challenging, but it does force you to progress in a logical fashion. Not necessarily slowly, but logically. And then for the horsepower, it'll be 100 horsepower for the first year unless you unlock two other categories. And if you unlock two other categories, you unlock 150 horsepower or 200 horsepower, right? And the reason is, is exactly what Ken just said, is the idea is to play the whole game, not just, hey, I'm gonna, oh my God, that, that parking lot. Did I do that? Look at this. That's um ridiculous. That bump coming into that parking lot is kind of crazy. I think I might have done that. I'll have to fix that. Um, the idea is, is you know, don't just like start off your map, cut down a hundred trees, and suddenly you have a million dollars, and you go from there. Like that's that's not fun. You've taken away all the fun of the game. You know, do the challenges, build up your skills, build up things that you can do, and it's kind of like the your struggle is real. Like you should be struggling at the beginning. Um, but I think the limitation here is I also am setting up the challenge so that the struggle also pertains to the mods that you can use to do stuff. So no auto, like pallets. Initially, you have to, you have to do all pallets with a, a, a pallet fork of some kind. And then after you've sold a hundred pallets, then you can start using, uh, something else like maybe a forklift. And then after you've sold 500 pallets, then you can unlock, you know, a, a an auto fill pallet loader thing. And then once you've done a thousand pallets, then you unlock universal auto load if that's something you want to use. And you go from there. So you have to like unlock stuff, basically. Kind of the idea is to think of it like a skill tree where all the things that you do in farming and, and everything else and all of the crazy stuff that we can get these days in the game, you have to unlock them. You don't just get them for free. This little path through the woods is kind of cool. I've never driven down this road. But that's the idea, and we're going to be doing that next week. So starting next week, I'm going to re-roll this map. I'll probably fix a few things that I've seen while we've been driving around. What is this building right here? I don't even know what this is. And we'll start from scratch and we'll start in hard mode. And I do have a place for us to stay while we're before we can buy that first farm. Oh, look, I think it's a sell point. Um, Vis Volola Latinos. Oh, it's a milk place. That's cool. I love the look of this map. I think it's really good. And it actually, honestly, if I can see it so myself, it looks much better with the grass that I put in here. It didn't look so great with the grass they had in here. It was, it was basically base game grass and the grass didn't match the environment, if I can put it that way. But with proper, what I think of as South American grass, I think it looks great. Where are we? Stick the landing. Yes. No, <laughs> I tried, <laughs> I tried. And there's actually a cell point right here in between the buildings. <laughs> it's a really hard to get to if you're driving up for uh, a uh, sugar beet harvester. I found out the hard way. And then the last thing I'll show you in the, the only other thing I added is when we start off, All you own is for this, the, our version of the challenge is going to be the dealership. So if we look at the farmlands, 
Look at all the farmlands. The whole map is viable. This one piece right here, 34, is free. And you can buy it. And the reason you can buy it is if you come over here, this little barrier here at the edge of the fence, and you can move the barrier, follow this little path down here, and we have a tent and an outhouse and a campfire. place to cook and this is our sleeping so this is where we're staying while we start our start our little thing kind of camping out behind the dealership hiding in the woods can't see us from the street and this is where we're going to be when we do the next challenge so come back next week again uh 6 p.m 6 to 8 hopefully i can remember to reboot my computer before starting um and i'll see everyone next time i'm actually really excited to start this challenge I'm going to try to come up with a few more, try to get the rules and like, you know, kind of like we have here for the challenge rules. I'm going to get something like this set up for the new challenge so that we're ready to go and we're kind of all on the same page as far as what we're trying to do. Um, and the only other thing that I'll mention is we're going to be, because we're in South America, we're going to be using a lot of... Um, I made the decision we're going to be using a lot of South American based machines. So you're getting a lot of the Brazil machines or you're getting fun stuff like this one, which has like, you know, the flags on it or whatever. Um, these are all the Brazilian versions of the new Holland. So we're going to be doing kind of a new Holland theme and other Brazilian related machines. The truck that I found is this one. This is a really awesome truck. Look at this truck. This truck's great. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I don't know. The things people put on their trucks... Why does everyone like putting the Michelin Man on their truck? I don't understand this. Why do people like doing that? I don't get it. Anyways, that's the idea. That's the challenge. We're going to be starting that next week. So come back next week for another episode of... Um, this is, I don't know what we're going to call this, but this is going to be the survival challenge, uh, the survival skills challenge, and come back for it next week. Um, I'm hoping it'll be fun, and I'm hoping that we can kind of write it up in such a way that we can propose it as a challenge for the rest of the community, and other people can try this on their own map and what, or whatever the map they choose to do the challenge on. Um, it's kind of set up to be a, you can do this on any map. There's going to be two different starts for the map. Uh... That's great, Rambo. I heard about that as well. I'm actually looking forward to it. So next week is a perfect start because then I'll be able to use some of it, which will be great. Um, the, uh, there'll be two starts for this map. I'm going to do one of them, which is a map that has fields. And then there's going to be a, a separate way of starting if you're starting on a map that does not have any fields. So if you're doing like a a more, whatchamacallit, um, there's a couple South American maps that are, or just any map, Really, you could, like if you do it, want to do this on Hinterland, how would you do it on Hinterland if you don't have fields to do contracts on, right? Um, I want to make sure it's it, capable for everyone and available for everyone, even if they're just, they're following along to a very kind of complex script. We'll get more into that next week. I want to say thank you for everyone for being here. Thank you for being uh, here for the live stream. Um, these live streams are honestly the highlight of my week. Um, I look forward to this all week. I look forward to sharing this stuff with you. I got lots of ideas and lots of plans, but I love sharing it with you guys and kind of making up fun things where you guys can follow along and do that. Coffee is a cash crop. Um, it's a good question. Let's look. Coffee is one of the few things on this map that I have not tested. So coffee is here. Coffee beans. Uh, how do you do coffee? I'm trying to remember how to do coffee. Um, production orchards. There it is. Coffee. So yes. Coffee. Um. And the coffee beans, I think these are the coffee ones. I, I can't 
plant these in February. Um, because, yeah. But I think the coffee trees, these are the ones that use the uh, Jackco system. And we also have all of the Jackco mods. Whoops, wrong button. We have all of the Jackco mods installed. So this is the Jackco coffee harvester. And maybe at some point we can actually set up a coffee a coffee plantation somewhere on the map. And I have a few things for doing coffee processing and whatnot. We can pull them from other mods and see if we can kind of combine those together. But that'll be fun. We'll check that out next time. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me on Discord. Um, and I'll be start sharing all the details for this challenge and other and the other challenges in my discord so if you have any questions feel free to jump in there but on that note i will see everyone next week uh and see everyone next week on a really fun south america map it's gonna be um very interesting oh i gotta go jump through the hole in the fence there we go it's gonna be very interesting and i'm actually sad because i'm I want to use this vehicle because this vehicle is awesome, but I can't because it's a hundred horsepower limit. So I won't even be able to use this vehicle, which is just a bummer. <laughs> oh, well, thanks everybody. Take care. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye. Oh, 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 oh. Actually, one little thing. I want to call this out. One little thing. Number one, thank you everyone for being here. Two things, actually. Number one, we're bordering on 500 subs. Um, <laughs> I might do that, Rambo, and just, just make a version of it that only has 100 hours. Um, we're bordering on 500 subs, which is really exciting. I'm at like 450 something, 460, something like that. Um, so that's actually exciting. And the other thing I found out today that I actually got and won a Giants Award for my field work fill station. I actually reached the 250,000 downloads on Mod Hub on console. I never thought I would get there. So that's thanks to all you. Thanks to everyone who joins and watches my stream and uses my mods and rates my mods because they're still very highly rated and everyone's really loving them. But I'm actually going to get an award. So I had to give them my address today and hopefully they'll ship me an award, which is super awesome. I'm actually really excited about that. Um, but yeah, final note. I won an award. Crazy, right? <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.